What's up, guys? Welcome to the series finale of the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty. And I say series finale. This is the final episode of the Mavericks Dynasty, the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty. Today we're taking on Navy, who's um, always been a formidable opponent against us. But that doesn't mean that we can't, you know, go out there and try and dominate in our last game. We'll see. Navy's always been a pain in our side, but we'll see. Uh, but... As I say series finale, I kind of wanted to go over and reflect on the series a little bit and give you guys, you know, my thoughts of what my thoughts on the series as a whole were and kind of give you guys, you know, a, a trip through the past. So if you guys are not into spoilers, giving you the warning now, pause the video, come back to this later, watch this entire thing or come back to this video later from start to finish and watch it all over again. Uh, playlist is in the description. Uh, so you guys can watch this video, this series. Uh, it's about 10 seasons long. So if you guys want to do some binging, um, definitely check that out. Even if it may take you a couple days to watch this or even a week or however long you want to watch it for. I'm not going to shove it down your throat or anything like that. So definitely check it out. Um, but if you guys don't mind the spoilers, then here they are. Okay. Now that everybody good? Okay, good. Um, so this series was started... About early 2019, January 2019, uh, with the intentions to make it a little bit more of a challenge um, and kind of do a team builder dynasty. It seemed to be the, the trendy thing to do at the time. Um, and I kind of wanted to catch trends. And I, I, I didn't want to say I wanted to catch lightning in a bottle, and I didn't really catch lightning in a bottle. Um, obviously, I'm not like I'm not like Perm Crow or not the expert or Moonlight Swami or anything like anybody like that. I'm not like big on that. On the sub trains or anything like that, but that's fine. I'm not. That's not the intentions of making. Well, it is the intentions of making content for views, and to get growth on a channel. But I also do it for me, and I also enjoy the content that is being produced. That you guys will respond in kind by you know watching the video, dropping likes and stuff like that, and it kind of leaves this thing in there that kind of helps me keep this series going forward. Um, but there's a reason why this is ending. Um, and I wanted to make this the final episode of the series, uh, but I'll get into that in a future content video, I should say, but I digress. Um, it took about a few seasons here to get our feet established into the, um, the national championship conversations. Kind of like, I, I like dynasties like that, that actually like, you know, you grind it out a little bit for four or five seasons before you become dominant. Usually that's how long it takes in normal dynasties, I would suppose. Um, so I, I guess I did it about, about on average. Um, we did have a little bit of custom recruits at the time too, and those those were fun to do. I just, I wish I could do them more often. I I just don't have the time, and I'm gonna, like again, I'll get that into a a, a thing later on. Um, time became a really big fa uh, factor into wanting to make this series more enjoyable and i know a lot of custom recruits can be made um but the problem is that i have is i'm not a full-time content creator this isn't my job i mean do i wish it was yeah i kind of do but i don't i if, I, if this was my full-time job i wouldn't have a problem making custom recruits and, or implementing a better way to get those done i should say because I've always had difficulty with that. And I do apologize to anybody who wanted to be a recruit in, in any of the series that I've done. It's just, it's not, it's not as easy as it looks. Especially when you're kind of forced on time and you're always either working or now for me going back to school. Um, more on that a little bit later. I, I, I There's another video for that here in the end card. So if you guys don't want to. If you guys want to see that go check that out as well but i'm not i don't want to waste your guys time too much but um but if you guys are still watching obviously i, I mean obviously I, I really do appreciate it watching you guys who watch start to finish on every single video you guys are the real mvps um and you guys who leave comments like real comments and constructive comments or any comment in general really it just it's super helpful for me and everything that you guys do is just amazing in that regard um Anybody who shows up to watch these videos is just the real MVP as well. Um, obviously, getting big on YouTube isn't as easy as it sounds, um, but we're uh, 
We're just here out having fun, really. So, um, a couple of things, I guess, on the more of the Dynasty. We did move from the MAC. We started out in the MAC. We went for, to the Mountain West and now the Big Ten. Um, I know that people were like, we should go independent, but I'm like, I'm not really. I did independent um, in UAB, and it kind of just wore itself out. Um, and it just didn't feel like it was having too, as much fun. You know what I mean? So, um, well, I mean, I still, I guess, was having a little bit more fun in, in UAB than I was here. And, it, and another thing about this series, too, is that I feel like I don't want to be forcing content down people's throats. You know what I mean? I don't want to be making a bunch of forced content that, you know, people aren't going to enjoy. Or they they enjoy one thing over another, and that's the thing, too, I guess, more so in that video as well. But I digress. But let's get on with this game here. We're up 24 to 10 there. So Navy, you know, we've Navy's always been a, a pain in our sides, but we're actually handling ourselves pretty well here against a team that's always given us trouble. Navy is no pushover, so we got to... We got to pat ourselves on the back a little bit here. We're up 31 to 10 now with that touchdown. So I, I can't complain too much, right? You, you, you know, you got to take your wins wherever you can get them. Um, so Alexander going to pitch or hand this one off to Dunn. Stumbling forward, first down for Navy. They've turned the ball over a couple times and it's come over to bite them. So, yeah, you can see, you can kind of see where Navy's kind of struggling. They're not taking care of the football. Um, but later on, Alexander throws this one away. Navy just really struggling. Just really struggling to get the ball going. Third and 11, though. Here's Washington dropping back. Off to Robinson, first down. And, you know, spark plugs like him, always always good, always a plus. Can't complain. Not You're not going to hear anything from me. Um, so... Back again, Joe Robinson, another big gain of 20 this time. His third catch for 45 yards on the day. Later on in the fourth quarter, it's third and one. Handed it off to Tolbert. He gets a big first down to keep the clock moving and also, you know, try and end this game a lot quicker. We don't want Navy to come back or anything like that because you know how dangerous Navy can be. Handed it off to Tolbert. Touchdown again, 38-10. Final highlight upcoming here um, in the Dynasty. And it's going to be a touchdown for Navy. But we still come out with the win. I mean, obviously with two minutes to go, it's going to be kind of hard to come back from a four-touchdown deficit. So we win 38-17. Um, but I don't want to beat around the bush too much here, guys. Uh, I want to go over some season stats and kind of reflect a little bit more on the Dynasty. Um 37 touchdowns to 7 interceptions here for Brian Washington. Had a stellar year uh, in his final season here on the Dynasty. I would say, I think he finished 3rd in the Heisman, if I'm not mistaken. We had a 1,000-yard rusher, almost a, a second 1,000-yard rusher. Washington came just 76 yards short of that, which is kind of, kind of amazing, actually. Two 1,000-yard receivers in Henry and Scott. Gorman had 10 touchdowns on the season. Uh, Scott had nine. He was close, but we'll take what we can get. Um, but still, two 1,000-yard receivers is a phenomenal. That just shows that you're, the offense is a well-tuned, oiled machine. Um, and we also had two 500-yard receivers as well on top of that. So we had four really good receivers, actually. Four really good receivers to throw to. It's kind of like Tom Brady's weapons in Tampa Bay. He has Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Rob Gronkowski, O.J. Howard, um, Scotty Miller, is a good slot receiver. Um, and also Cameron Bray. This is a, that's just a lethal offense right there, if you ask me. It's kind of what this offense reminds me of a little bit. Just a good running attack, good passing attack, big guys up front that can block. Um, so I, I, would, I would say this offense is just phenomenal. Matt Chandler only missed one kick. We all know which kick he missed against Ohio State to end the game, unfortunately, to – help us win the Big Ten Championship and possibly propel us even into the National Championship. That's how that's how close we were this year. Uh, Chandler, 46-yard field goal was his longest. I think, he, I think he had the leg for 50, but he was like... I think the one he missed was from 52, if I'm not mistaken. Marcus Mixon, obviously the best returner in college football. Four touchdowns for uh, kickoff returns for touchdowns, two punt returns for touchdowns. And that's... I think that's amazing, actually. So... 
that's just our season stats on the year. Um, again, nothing, nothing to scoff at or anything like that. This team was pretty dang good on paper. Uh, we went 12 and two and we went, um, I think eight and two in the big 10. Yeah. Eight and two in the big 10. That's what I would think. Uh, our only big 10 loss losses were to Minnesota and to Ohio state. Um, Ohio state, I think yeah, it was 38, 35. And we lost to Minnesota by 10, I think 45, 35. Um, but that, that was just our, that was just a season recap. Um, but as I wrap up this series, I guess, in, as a whole, if you guys wanted to get, a, I guess, a perspective, this is one of my more favorite series to do. Um, as you guys may have known, I did attend Minnesota State University from uh, back in the early 2010s. Um, so I did go to this college up in Mankato. It's a beautiful campus. If you ever end up traveling through Mankato, go visit that college. Uh, it's a Division II school normally. Uh, it's in the Northern Sun and Athletic Intercollegiate uh, Conference in foot, in most sports. It's in the WCHA in hockey, in men's hockey. Um, we were, we were, we were, oh, we lost to North Florida in the national championship game in football this season, this past season. And uh, we only lost by eight points, 48 to 40. Um, really good football game. Um if you guys know of notable players like Adam Thielen, also went to the university. Um, top prolific receiver, great route runner, went undrafted. Pretty much got signed on to the his hometown team in the Minnesota Vikings. Um, as a star receiver there. Um, hockey, we were we were supposed to be in the Frozen Four this year, but obviously due to the 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 naughty c word that I'm not allowed to say on YouTube I uh, cannot say that I can't t- determine whether we would have won it or not I think we were number we were in the top three in men's college hockey um, and also when we attended there we were top five in basketball in men's basketball and we were top ten in baseball uh, all in Division two hockey is obviously Division one um, we had some good rivals uh, in hockey with like uh, University of Minnesota. Um, our biggest rival for football, I would say, was Winona State, which is um, like about 100 miles east uh, along Highway 14 in Minnesota. It's like on the Winona's on the West, Minnesota Wisconsin border, basically. Um, just for reference points. Um, but yeah, Minnesota. If you ever end up going around there, being around there sometime, take a picture, send me, tag me on Twitter. You know. Follow me on Twitter there, and uh, you know if you end up seeing that campus, let me know. Uh, I'd love to see it. Uh, I haven't been there in about it's been a while since I've been on campus at MSU. Um, but again, you know maybe maybe time will or fate will take me back there someday. Uh, we'll see. But again, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for this series. It means a lot to me that you guys came out and showed up for all these videos. If you guys watched this from start to finish. Y'all are awesome, and uh, just to let you know, I mean, just because the series is over doesn't mean you can't, I mean, it's always going to be on YouTube forever, so it's not like it's going to go away. So, again, thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, or until the next video, I guess, if you guys watch the end title or end screen, click that, and uh, I'll kind of go over everything there. So, I'll see you guys in that video. Uh, and I will see you guys next time.